Hey creators, Nate here with Production Crate. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you our latest update to our Crate's lower third script. This script allows you to easily add and customize all kinds of different styles of lower thirds into your footage, whether it be in After Effects or Premiere. Originally, this script had 90 presets, but now we've added 20 new presets to give you even more options, which brings us to a total of 110 presets in our Crate's lower third script. You can choose from any of these categories, from artsy to corporate, geometric, floral, minimalist, sporty, tech, and a category containing others, which have all kinds of different styles, as well as lower thirds specifically for social media, YouTube, and TikTok. Firstly, you will need to have a Production Crate account in order to access this, and then you'll want to go to the Scripts and Plugins section of the website, and over here on page two, you can see there is the Lower Thirds script. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the page where you can have access to it, as well as download it. And then once you've downloaded the script and have After Effects launched, you simply need to go to File, Scripts, Run Script File. Then you can navigate to the JSX file that you downloaded, and it should launch the script in After Effects. The other method to do this is by using our Crates Toolbox extension. This tool allows you to also log in and have access to all of our tools. As you can see, after we log in, we have access to the Crates Lower Third script. All we have to do is click on Install. It will then begin a download of the script itself. And all we have to do now to access it is go to Installed Scripts. And here you can see I have all of my previously downloaded Production Crate tools and Production Crate's lower thirds. Now I can just click on the Use Now button and this will go ahead and launch the script directly from our toolbox scripts and plugins manager. So now that you know how to download and launch the script, let's quickly overview all of these new presets as well as how you can customize the presets. The 20 new presets we've added have been added to several different categories. And the easiest way to see them is to first navigate to a category and then click on the left button. There are already some artsy category uh, lower thirds here, but if we go backwards, you can see we'll have the newest ones, which include things like uh, pop shadow, pop shapes, pop abstract, etc. And if I say go to corporate and go back, you can see I have access to my new corporate lower thirds. You can usually identify which ones are the new and old presets because the old presets have the name of the category, in this case minimalist, and then a number. The new ones simply have a stylistic name that does not have a number after it. Uh, so that's how you can know whether you're looking at a new one or an old one. Let's say I like this Swiss minimal new preset here. All I have to do to make modifications is type in my title and my secondary text for what I want to be displayed inside of my lower thirds. So in the case of my astronaut here, maybe I can say rates astronaut. And then for the subtitle, it can be kind of his title. He could be a space explorer. Now in the case of our new presets, we do not have the ability to customize the colors because they were not built for this, but nonetheless, you can still make changes afterwards. You basically just need to add your title text and subtitle text. If you're using an older preset, you can adjust these other options, but when you're ready to actually add in your lower third, hit the create button. And if we move forward in time, you can see our lower third with our modifications has been successfully added to our composition. We can then of course select it and move it around to wherever we need to. And lastly, we also have the option of course to export this in various ways to something like Premiere. Because our lower third here has just some alpha, we can solo the layer so that we only see it. And then in the render queue, if we add our composition, we can select something with an alpha export. And in this case, I can say like a quick time with RGB and alpha, and then I can choose a place to export it to, and it should render out quite quickly. Then I can import it inside of Premiere, drag it over my footage, and resize it or position it to how I need and have access to this and not just After Effects, but really any other application that supports alpha video. And there is one more option for linking this directly to Premiere. What we can do is make sure we have our project saved. Then in Premiere, we can click on import, select your After Effects project file and the composition where it is located. In this case, I can click on it and then drag it into the timeline where it now has a direct link to After Effects. This means that I can adjust the properties inside of Premiere here, but also if I go back into After Effects, maybe I go into the actual lower third itself and maybe I need to change the text to say 
space minor. And now back in Premiere, it's going to update that in live time. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's an overview of our Crate's lower third script, as well as all of our new presets we've added. Again, make sure you go to our scripts and plugins section on Production Crate to have access to the lower thirds script, as well as our other scripts and our toolbox management tool, which allows you to easily download and have access to all of your Production Crate scripts in one place. Thanks for watching, everyone, and remember to make it awesome.